Hi, this is Ron Edwards, Master Sommelier and Director of Wine Education for Winebow. Sauvignon Blanc is one of those grapes that has so many people who love it, and there's so many reasons for that. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's got plenty of things to catch your attention. Uh, what we often forget is that Sauvignon Blanc is from everywhere these days, and that some of the areas we don't immediately think of have some of the prized examples. Um, Australia has tons of really delicious Sauvignon Blanc, Unfortunately, I think sometimes it gets lumped into the idea that it's like New Zealand, but it's not, uh, not universally. There are some there that have that style, perhaps they are fruit forward, but not quite as vibrant as New Zealand. One of the Sauvignon Blancs that we feature here at Winebow from Australia is Sean Smith, the uh, now over 30 year old project of Martin Shaw and Michael Hill Smith. It's in the Adelaide Hills, and it really focuses their, the effort on the grapes that grow really well in the Mount Lofty Ranges, which is significantly cooler and wetter than the area around it, like Barossa or McLarenville. So super well suited to Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Shiraz, but a different style of Shiraz. So this is their Sauvignon Blanc. It's the 2019 bottling is what I'm tasting today. And if you're a fan of New Zealand, you're going to like it. If you're a fan of Sancerre, you're probably going to like it. If you've had one of the delicious Sauvignon Blancs like I've talked about recently from Northeast Italy, like Traman, I think you're going to like it because this Sauvignon Blanc sort of hits right down the middle of delicious. So let's, let's find out what this one tastes like and smells like and we'll go from there. So the first thing that comes up is um, pink grapefruit that's a little subtle, but definitely there, uh, ripe pear, and um, this cross between um, ripe passion fruit and um, guava. And then there's a, uh, a kind of lightly creamy bread dough, yeasty aroma. This wine sees um, Lee's aging in stainless steel to sort of just round off the flavor profiles, but it doesn't see any oak. There's a beautiful aromatic herb note to this wine, and um, it crosses the boundary between what I would call bell pepper and then a hint of like distant spearmint. And it definitely has the common Sauvignon Blanc tones of lemon and lime. Uh, although I would say the Meyer lemon in this case, you know, that lemons that are actually orange in color. It smells delicious. It smells inviting. So let's taste it. It's bright, it's fresh, it's tart, it's refreshing. Uh, definitely a great wine to start with in the evening to get the juices flowing and uh, make you hungry, but it's also going to be really, really well suited to seafood dishes and lemon butter sauces and all the things that we think of when we think of spring and summer. As far as food is concerned, bright vegetables and things like that. The pink grapefruit is definitively there. There's also a little yellow grapefruit. Uh, the guava is there. The passion fruit is definitely there fresh, like you just cut one open. It has that um, bread dough meets uh, yeasty uh, flavor profile in there. It's very pleasant. And it has that cross of the line in that herbal tone between uh, spearmint and um, lemongrass green pepper kind of combination. It's really that particular part of this wine is super intriguing to me. Really well balanced wine, very indicative of the flavor profile you'd want from Sauvignon Blanc. Um, I think this is a crowd pleaser, and yet it's complex and delicious, so it's it's in no way a simple wine, but really easy to like. I definitely recommend you go find a bottle of Sean Smith Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, I think you're really going to like it. I know I'm really liking it.